Uh, hi guys! Welcome into this video! Alright y'all, so here's what we're gonna do. So we got this TV right here, and the idea is that I'm gonna put two more little smaller TVs right up here. I already had them set up there, uh, mocked it out. These TVs were held up there temporarily. They fell on the ground. I was using um, <clears throat> some of these, uh, what are these called? Wood clamps. I got these from uh, Walmart for like $3 each, and they're just kind of crappy. Anyway, it gave way. As you can tell, they fell right on the ground. And that propane tank, yeah, I know. I'm going to get comments about that. Yeah, I'm an RVer. I break the rules a little bit. I need to put that outside. I'm going to be drilling a hole. That's another project. This is a different video. There'll be a video on that. Don't worry. But right here, the TV is on the ground, and it needs to be up here. I bought, I bought these uh, 5 16 bolts um, from Ace Hardware, the hardware store. And um, I've already drilled one of the holes. My God, get, the, get a really sharp new drill bits. I think I got this from Harbor Freight and it was only like 20 bucks, but my God, having drill bits makes a world of difference. Like sharp drill bits. It cut like through that steel like butter. So I'm um, gonna continue that. Well, for me, the saga continues. I'm gonna keep at it. I'm gonna remain persistent and uh, continue on all these projects. And I've gotta have a win eventually. <laughs> I'm having nothing but problems, but eventually something is gonna work for me. Like even this project right here, I'm trying to mount additional uh, TVs up here because this is going to be part of my, my surveillance system right now. Only uh, comprises this one webcam that's sticking out the window. But I need to up my game and I'm moving to IP cams and I just bought a thousand feet, a thousand feet of Cat6 cabling. And then I'm going to put like six different cameras so I'll be able to see around the peripheral everywhere here. And then that's why I'm putting these monitors right here. And this little i7 um, PC right here, little tiny guy, that's going to drive my Blue Iris. It's a DVR uh, program that does like motion detection for IP cams and stuff like that. So I'll have a huge array. That's the end goal here. Have like probably, uh, I'll use dual monitors and then I'll probably have like six or seven cameras up there. Um, my heads up display. And then... Look at the way that I jerry-rigged this right here. I've got, um... Right. Oh. Ugh. The monitors were just there a second ago, and now they're on the ground. Yeah, I kind of jerry-rigged something, and it didn't work. Um, yeah, I got uh, some, some clamps. I just had this bright idea to use these clamps, and then clamp this um, kind of 2 by 4 right here, and then um, just clamp it right to the back of the existing thing, and it just fell. Oh man, that's too bad. I almost got that on camera, but I didn't. Um, but yeah, I just got back from the store. I knew that that wasn't going to hold anyway, so I bought these bolts. So I'm going to drill a 5 uh, hole. Right, and I got almost all the holes drilled. The drill gave up right on the last one, so now I've got to wait for it to recharge. And I had another battery, but it wasn't uh, plugged in. The charger wasn't plugged in, so the, that other battery was dead too. But these don't take long to charge, so hopefully I'll get that last hole knocked out. If you've ever got um, a sliver from metal like this, you know it hurts like hell. So that's why I taped this garbage bag to help collect some of that those um, um, little pieces of death shrapnel. See, I ended up needing these wood clamps anyway, so that wasn't money wasted. And uh, was it now I'm able to line up these uh, holes. I'm going to uh, drill through them, and it should be done. Ah, that worked. See, the drill's going down into the metal, so I was able to line it up. Can we go, punks? I got it again. <laughs> hey, guys, I did it three times. <laughs> it's in place. Isn't she pretty? And that's pretty strong. A lot stronger than these uh, clamps. I love clamps. These things come in handy, I'll tell you what. But they're not good for holding up two TVs. I mean, who would have thought about that? Who would have even guessed? But yeah, this should be... Uh, let's let's try it. Let's put it up there now. 
guys, I did it. <laughs> look at that. Doesn't that look sturdy? Look at that. We got. I can do all sorts of configurations. Say, say someone is sitting on the couch and they're like, I don't want to watch what you're watching. And I'll just direct one of the TVs over there and then someone's in the kitchen and they're like, hey, I need a recipe. I need to watch that cooking show. And they put their headphones on and watch on that one. And then I'm sitting right here watching my YouTube. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at this. Do you see that? Let me see if I can focus in on it. That is a metal sliver, man. Oh, God, I missed one. These are like razor blades. It's not like a, a splinter from wood. No, man, these things do not give. And they, they just, they cut like razor blades. It's official, guys. Blood, sweat, and tears for this project. Uh, sweat because it's a really hot day. Okay, guys, it's official. We got the wall of Samsung here. Samsung, Samsung, Samsung. Even the tablet is Samsung. It's the wall of Samsung. Uh, Mexico didn't pay for it. China did. I think uh, I'm pretty happy with the results. I, I got to get a computer up there to drive those two displays, and it's going to be awesome. There's going to be this is going to be my DVR for displaying my security cameras. I'm going to have it up there, my heads up display, so that we can see all around the RV at all times. I'm happy. What do you guys think? Leave a comment. I did drop these. I don't know if you saw that in the video. I hit, I hit pause on the video and then I dropped it. Right, so I missed some really good footage, but yeah, look at that—it cracked. But hey, it still works. Ta -da! I love it. <laughs> you guys like it? <laughs> the wall of Samsung. If you guys liked it, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Did you get any good ideas on this one? Here's what it looks like from the backside. So you guys can do this too. I just modified. You know, you guys saw what I did. I just modified the existing uh, TV stand that was there. Anyway, tell me what you guys think. Do you guys love it? Give me an upvote at least. At least, guys! Let's get back to rocking.